Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, firstly, I think I, I'm going to talk in Thai, but I see many English speaking here today, so I will talk in English then. Uh, today, we, through Digital Group, partner with uh, Couchbase, want to uh, share the story that how we uh, moving forward to use uh, Couchbase in our platform. First, we start with what True Digital is working on. We have a product, the main product is True ID application, where the True ID application is the digital lifestyle and entertainment platform. We offer live TV streaming, it's live, and we also uh, provide video on demand. Also, they, 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 they also news and article in the application and website as well. And it's a, it's kind, the direction of this application is kind of a super app. So they try to integrate it with a true, other true services, such as billing payment, uh, privilege redemption, and etc. So for the technology stack on 2AD platform, this is roughly only a few, not, not all of them. But we, I would like to show that in, in terms of the data management, we are using many, many databases in uh, our platform. Cassandra, Firebase, MongoDB, Oracle, Couchbase OpenSearch, Redis, a lot of them. Then, even, even we are using all of those, and now in, in 3D application, we uh, have more customer over the years. Now we have over 40 million monthly active users at the moment, and we reach what over 1 million concurrent users last year on the uh, World Cup event. So what will be our challenges right now? Of course, the number one is stability. This stability is not only availability, but also the uh, the performance of the system. Of course, that every user needs to uh, get the platform fast, not only stable, but also fast. Another one is data freshness. Because we are the content uh, delivery platform, so it's not about the content, only content. It's also about the user data. For example, if you, uh, if you upload something, you would like to see the data right away. Or uh, if our marketing team or a content team uploading new uh, script, or not, not script, sorry, new uh, script, they want to user to be able to see it as soon as possible, but not, not on in, in real time manners, but as soon as possible. Another one that we have uh, complaint from customer is about multi-device data consistency, because when you purchase something, because in our application you can have an on-demand uh, purchasing. So when you purchase a subscription, for example, I uh, let's say one month subscription, for example, then you switch device, but then you complain, call the call center, and then you say that I already paid for the subscription, but in my other device, it's still not uh, usable. That's, that's the main complaint that we have. Uh, so let me talk about our journey in True ID. Firstly, we have uh, only a, a few thousand concurrent users at the beginning five years ago. So we start very small. We have an application calling a RESTful API to the server, and then connected to the database. Very, very simple. Then the problem occurred because we grew too fast, and we never expected that. Then when we have high throughput, the server can be easily scaled because we are using microservices running on Kubernetes cluster. But somehow, database is not. So what we facing is that the database is down. It's not easily scaled. Uh, it, it depends on the technology we are using or for each magical services, but somehow database is down. 
So to, to fix this problem, we introducing catch, catching layer on the data for our microservices uh, using Redis, for example. So we're trying to catch the data on it so we survive during that period. Right. It's, it's workable, it's, it's good solution, everyone is happy. But then, as I said earlier, uh, user complain because uh, the data is not instantly appear on the, on the other device. Even it, it's still the same scenario, we have a catching layer. And because of catching, somehow, sometimes data is not updated because there's another, there's a different microservices running on updating data and getting the data, right, sometimes. So, for, for, so this is our currently uh, architecture, not currently, sorry, but, but our architecture that we trying to uh, achieve what we need. So we have two data center. We, uh, some databases can do a synchronization between two data center, C can be active, active but some, da some databases is not. So I'm talking about the, the database is not be able to do active, active, or, or both read, write on, on the same, on, on two data center. So in this scenario, we have the database, or a master database, let's say, on, on the primary data center. And then another data center, we have read-only database. Then we uh, separate the traffic. That if it's a read traffic, it can, be, it can go to both sides. But if it's a write traffic, let's say post API, then it goes to the own primary side only. This is uh, what we, we're trying to do to, to fix the problem. But challenges still be there, and we're trying to, we're trying to dig down into a technical details that what, what would do we really need it? to achieve the challenges. Uh, then we come up with uh, six items. One is a distributed data center where uh, we, we needed an active, active topology for the application and database, not only application. We need a scalable platform. As we may know that uh, most database not easily scale. It can be scaled, of course, but it's not easily scaled. It, and it also might require uh, a lot of time to scale. For example, we, facing, we are using Cassandra, and to scale Cassandra, we need around 10 hours of work. So it's, it's not easily scaled, but it's, it's capable of, our, but it's not what we really want. Of course, that we need an in-memory database for faster response and also to reduce the workload on, on the actual database. And we think about the push-based transport because as we know that we have multi-devices on, on customer, so if we're trying to pull uh, the data from the server, the problem is that the front-end logic, you have to implement some kind of a interval updating, pulling the data. If they put it too late, let's say 10 seconds, it will overflow our server and database. It's not a really good idea. If they put too long, then customer complain. So we are thinking about the push-based scenario, not, not pool. And also data consistency, not the next one. Uh, we, had, we didn't talk about data consistency between uh, customer device and our server. We are also talking about uh, our databases in, in different data centers as well. So everything has to be uh, consistency even in catch because we are also facing uh, the data is not updated in, in our catch database. And the last one is local catch here. Why we are thinking about local cache? One thing is uh, to, to reduce the workload on, on the server. 
Another thing is to lower the cost on implement on, on our operations cost. And another one is we, we also have we, we're thinking of our data, our data to, to present it to users. Then we find that some data is not that uh, frequently updated. For example, uh, let's say the front page is not really frequently updated. If you can somehow uh, catch on the user device, then it will be better for our uh, stability scenario. <clears throat> this one we are, I, I'm talking about on why we choose Couchbase based on the challenges we have today. We are choosing Couchbase because uh, when we say about distributed data center, Couchbase has a solution where they provide cross data center replication feature in their software. It's a, it's a service that, that replicate data between Couchbase cluster. It supported both one-way and two-way replication. Another thing is a scalable platform. Of course, that's Couchbase is scalable. It's not instant scalable like Kubernetes, but it's still scalable within uh, less than one hour as our uh, testing data with uh, 50 gigabytes. And, it, and for in-memory database, somehow Couchbase has offered that as well. They have an in-memory database services. And <clears throat> in, in this category, we're just thinking, oh, we used to have uh, a Cassandra, right? Cassandra con uh, container data. And then uh, user or the business wants to have a full text search on our application. The Cassandra is not capable of that. So we have to copy the data to our Elasticsearch cluster to do the full text search. If we can, if we can use the cast, sorry, that's that's another topic. Sorry, that's an in-memory data service. And <clears throat> the next one is push-based transport, data consistency, and local catch. Actually, Couchbase also provide a product name Couchbase Mobile, where it's a is some. It's some kind of an SDK, an application that you put it in your application. It's a local database. Let's say local database that can be synced with Couchbase da database in, in our environment via a sync gateway. So this thing, we, 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 we try it, and, it, and it's really fast. It's faster than we think. And, uh, it also provides data consistency because on the user device, when you go offline and you make some changes, and then when you go online, then it can be, those data can be synced up with uh, our database. But right now, our scenario, we are not using that. We are using a read-only data syncing with uh, user devices. And <clears throat> another service is called Capella App Services. This one is a sync gateway between Couchbase Mobile and our Couchbase server. Couchbase server, I, I mean the Couchbase uh, database server. So I believe that these two services from Couchbase uh, can solve our issue on, on the push-based transport, data consistency, and the local cache, because they can do the local cache for us. Then uh, this will be our final architecture right now, that on the mobile side, we have a Couchbase mobile installed on our application. Then that uh, Couchbase mobile, we do a mobile sync or the, to the sync gateway calling, calling the app services. <clears throat> the app services will look the data in, in the in-memory in data service provided by Couchbase. And if it's not presented, then it will be looking into the actual database itself. Uh, in, in this picture, I still put here 
the internal integration service where the server is still receiving REST API call because of our internal uh, system is still using REST API to talk to each other. When you buy something, then uh, some services still need to update the data into it. Or even uh, internal services need to make sure to uh, check that the user has this privilege or not, then it's still uh, using REST API to talk to each other. <clears throat> and let's see what we are on today uh, if between TrueID and Couchbase. Today, we already did PLC on cost data center replication, and it's working fine in the two-way scenario. We migrating some data to Couchbase that, that's already done. Then uh, we're trying to scale uh, Couchbase on our production system. Uh, and the result is that it can be scaled without downtime. It takes some time, around 30 minutes, but it's still better than 10 hours in, in Cassandra. Then we have already also implemented app services. We roll out CouchX Mobile on our 3D application around 10%. Uh, but we are, we are talking about 10% because in 3D we have a lot of applications uh, serving the streaming platform. For example, iOS, Android is, an, uh, is a different application. We also have a set of box. We also, support, we also have an uh, Android TV app. So we have to do it one by one. Now we are we already done with the Android TV application to uh, roll out Couchbase Mobile to sync up the data between uh, user devices and our da our Couchbase database platform. And what we are working on with Couchbase tomorrow or future. So. We are migrating more data into the Couchbase. Now we are talking about content today. All of our content, uh, we plan to migrate to Couchbase. And the content, uh, and also we have to roll out more mobile service in the application. Then we, it, the, the content, uh, the content system, our content system, we, we put it in a very, very highly critical services for trade depression because we are basically uh, selling the content. So we have to implement XCDR between our on-premise and cloud. That's the plan to make sure that uh, the service is uh, not interrupted even in the event that on-prem server is uh, have some incident on, on the data center. And of course that uh, there's another one more feature from Couchbase that they also support full text search. As I said earlier, uh, our uh, content database, Cassandra, is not capable of doing full text search. So we copy all the data to our Elasticsearch cluster, then doing the full text search there. But somehow, Couchbase also provide that feature. So we plan to move forward with Couchbase that they already have our content data. So we can easily do the full text search. Um, the team is already doing some POC on this full text search and not only capability is not performance, but it seems to be okay, not too bad. Then we are planning to, to, do, to, to do it next year. And we are also trying to leverage the imagery database when applicable, for example, uh, if we, because our, another goal of our organization is to lower the operation cost. If we, we do the uh, calculation and saying that uh, Redis cluster and uh, in-memory database for Couchbase, which one is cheaper, we will we, we be using it. And that's all for my presentation today. Do you have any questions? It, 
is a JSON data, so it's only a metadata. Every uh, on the not not the actual media, so the the media, including pictures and videos, is kept in in uh, the the other storage. Yes. Happening somewhere else is that object storage that containing the video data. Couch is also, also, uh, only contain the text data. So for our environment, text data so is quite quite small. So you don't it's only around a hundred or maybe two hundred GB altogether. Yes. Yeah, because Couchbase has a answer us for many things that our problem. One is the uh, cost data center replication, where the other can do, but uh, it doesn't have other capabilities such as the Couchbase mobile, where you can do the data sync between mobile applications and our database server. Uh, for our POC comparing Elasticsearch with Couchbase, for the result is kind of similar. I say similar is not the same, but it's kind of similar. But in terms of performance, we haven't been tasted into that yet. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you very much. <laughs>